Hey there, girls and boys. Welcome to Unit 4, Week 1. And as always, please put your name on your paper. And it looks like today my name is Thomas Edison. Now, as always, um, occasionally I notice some of you not taking care of your work on making sure that you're documenting what you're doing. And Thomas Edison words this week, he's on green. So he would indicate that. You would also indicate what today's date is, okay? And remember that can change depending on this video, so make sure you put in the correct day. And as always, study my words, okay? So that should really be, you know, automatic to you always, okay? And also make sure that you also put in the date uh, of your spelling assessment on there in your grammar test. Now what I notice is um, some of you need to really work on making sure that uh, did together would be considered the tutorial. Okay, um, You can even indicate that on your paper. Um, so some of you are going to be following the tutorial, some are going to be doing independently. Um, if I haven't discussed it with you, we're going to start looking at you know the homework uh, the spelling section really being this is going to be where you're going to do most of your homework okay because remember the grammar is always the activities that you do at school and the spelling not necessarily would you need the video tutorials to complete so really that would really be most of your homework um, when you don't get a chance to do it because remember Monday through Wednesday is really the time to get the grammar and the spelling done and the spelling Sheets could also count as your practice as well. So please make sure you are constantly filling in your dates. What day are you starting at? What day are you getting done, etc. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and just take a gander, which means a look, through what we're going to hit our targets this week. We're going to be looking at pronouns, relatives and indefinite pronouns, and antecedents and what that means. And once again, antecedents and pronouns. And inflectional endings. That's looking at ED and ING. So I don't think that'll be too tough this week, huh? It's not like you haven't done that before, right? Um, and then just for a reminder, of, we give you some a pause, a pronoun chart, inflectional endings, and looking at how to look at syllable patterns and where do we break up those words. Um, and V and C stand for vowel and consonant. So if you have... Uh, like the word rabbit has double B's and on each side has a vowel, then you're going to split those there. Um, if you have a C plus L-E, that means you're going to do the consonant and then L-E. Okay. On the compound words, you always syllabi syllabitize them between the two words. And if you have vowel teams, you usually cut those there. So um, as always, to start the lesson, I would like you to go ahead and look at Team Nabalski and we are on Unit 4. And I would like you to watch this video first. I got the blues. Okay, and then when you're done with that one, could you please go ahead and look at that pronoun antecedents. Over the course of this year, from their secret lair deep in Okay. So what I want you to do is go ahead and view those two videos, and then when you're ready, go ahead and go back. All right. All righty, so don't forget, now that you've watched the videos, <clears throat> please make sure you remember to put today's date on there. Um, indicate whether or not did you follow the tutorial or did you complete it independently. Um, remember, it must be completed in pencil and corrected in pen. So let's always remember that, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and let's look at our targets. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our target today. Our targets are being able to identify and use correctly. Remember, a pronoun is a word that takes the place of one or more nouns. It's the pronoun. Anywhere the noun can go, the pronoun can go, if you remember from the video. Our next target here is a pronoun must match its antecedent or the noun it refers to, okay, in number and gender. So if I'm talking about my aunt, I can't say he. If I'm talking about my brother, I can't say she, 
Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the antecedents bullet to remind us. Antecedent, antecedents usually appear in the same sentence as their pronouns, but not always. But really for our age level in fourth grade, we should that should come up quite a bit. All right, let's look at um, what the activity so we can practice. Circle the pronoun in the parentheses. And remember, parentheses are those things there and there. That agrees with the antecedent. Remember, the antecedent is the one that refers back to the noun and correctly completes each sentence. Write the antecedent on the line. Of course, there's our line. All right, so let's do a couple together and see how you can do. And remember, it's not always remember, oh, is that the antecedent? Really what we're looking at is, do these sentences make sense? Do they agree? All right, so let's get started. All right, here we go. Number one, if the people go outside, he, they will be very cold. All right, so let's think about what the noun is here. Where do you see that all? Who are the who are the what? The people. Okay, so I know that's my noun. Now I need to find out, do I say, if the people go outside, he will be very cold? Or if the people go outside, they will be very cold? Okay, so the people is really our what? That's really the pronoun, not just the noun. It's a pronoun because I'm not naming specific people. And because people is what? Plural, it better be they, correct? All right, and then go ahead and we're gonna write the antecedent on the line. Let me make it smaller, okay? So they refers back to people, okay? And that's really a pronoun. I've decided to change it so we get used to seeing that A is for the antecedent. Okay, so then I'm going to make a pronoun one as well. So you can see the relationship that there's a pronoun, but there's an antecedent. They refer back to each other. It's like saying the same people. People know that if I say, if the people outside uh, go outside, they will get very cold. People know that when I say the word they, they know I'm referring back to people. Let's try it again. The dog wagged its their tail playfully. The dog wagged its or their tail. Well, I have this noun as dog, and how many more, how many is that? It's just one, isn't it, okay? So if I'm talking about one, it's what? It's its, okay? So I really should circle its, okay? And the antecedent, who's its? Who is its referring to? The dog, okay? You know what so far? Those are actually nouns, too, but they're antecedents, okay? It's another fancy name that means I really have two nouns in the same sentence, but one is a pronoun and one is its antecedent, but it has to still be a noun, right? All right, let's try one more, then you're going to try on your own. My aunt and his, her friend are driving cross country. Well, I know aunt has got to be a noun, so, but if it refers back to something else, then it's going to be a pronoun. So here are the pronouns. Do I say his or her? Well, definitely her because an aunt is a female, right? So who does her refer back to? What's its antecedent? That's right, my aunt. Aunt and her are the same thing. Yeah, it's just a different way of saying it. So are you ready? So if that helps you to look for the noun and do what Miss N's doing, go ahead and make up any marks you have. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through all of these, and you're going to mark. Here's what you need to do. You're going to circle the pronouns, which are in parentheses, and then you have to put the antecedent, which I forgot to erase here. You're going to write the antecedent on the lines, okay? So that's what you should have so far. All right, here we go. Number four, the mayor did their his best to solve the traffic problem. Remember to pause when you need to. Number five, both students did a great job. Her, their teacher was very proud. Number six, when the tired woman went to bed, he, she fell asleep immediately. Pause after each one if you need to. Number seven, the team tried very hard. Still, it, they did not win the game.
8. The second half of the movie lost his its appeal for me. Number 9. Each of the airplanes had begun its their descent from the sky. Number 10. One of the girls will win the award with her, his, science project. All right, let's make sure you're done, because remember, you're never going to learn how to do this unless you're honest with yourself. Remember, hopefully you did everything in pencil first, and then we'll check in pen. So please get out. You should have a red pen or a bright colored pen at least. Now, remember, um, don't make a mess crossing out. Just lightly correct it. All right, let's try and see what we've got here. The mayor did their his best to solve the traffic problem. Well, who or what is mayor? So I know that's a noun. So if it's the mayor, is there more than one mayor or not for the pronoun? His best, it's only one. So I would have circled his, okay? So Miss N doesn't have a lot of room, so I'm going to put P for pronoun. And you know that when I put the P up there for pronoun, it means you're supposed to circle it. So who is his? Who is his? Well, the mayor. The mayor and his are the same person, aren't they? Number five. Oops, and I have to erase my little answer there. Both students did a great job. Her, their teacher was very proud. Who or what? Well, students. So I know that's a noun. Well, the pronoun, her or their. Well, students is plural, so it's got to be their, doesn't it? I should have circled there. And the antecedent is what? Students. It's referring back to. So students and their are the same thing. A and P. They have a relationship. When the tired woman went to bed, make sure you pause if you need to to make corrections. When the tired woman went to bed, he, she fell asleep immediately. I know this seems silly, but it's true. Some people get it wrong. Uh, who or what? Well, the woman, the tired woman, adjective tired woman. Um, he or she? Well, yeah, it's got to be she because the woman is a she. So the antecedents is woman. So woman and she are the same thing. Yeah, it's just a fancy word, isn't it? The team tried very hard. Still, it, they did not win the game. Who or what? Well, the team, that's got to be the noun. So if it's a team, that's really what? It's plural, isn't it? Yeah. Those are like those collective nouns where like a band, a team, a flock. It means more than one, even though it's not plural, we know it is. So who uh, who is they referring to? The team. The team would be its antecedent. And I should have written team on the line. The second half of the movie lost his, its appeal for me. Well, who or what? Well, the movie is the noun, or actually the second half, I guess, is really the noun. But I'm looking for a pronoun. So if it's a movie, but it's not movies, it's its, isn't it? So who's its referring to? Second half? What do you think? Movie. Well, I guess they want movie, but to me it's the second half as well. I guess that could be considered the adjective, I suppose, because it's describing what part of the movie. All right. Each of the airplanes had begun its, their descent from the sky. All right. So I see who or what. Well, the airplanes, ooh, that's more than one. So if it's more than one, if it's there, it's only one. If it's, I mean, if it's one, it's its. If it's there, that means it's almost like a collective pronoun, although I don't think they exist. Okay, so that means more than one. So its antecedent has to be, I would think, airplanes or each of the airplanes. Mm, this one might be a little tricky. We better find out. Ooh, look at the one that they wrote for us. Each of the airplanes is actually its antecedent. Wow, did everybody get that one? See, Miss Nabalski kind of went back for like, well, it's probably each or, but wow, they made us include the whole thing. That's surprising. Last one. One of the girls will win the award with his or her science project. Well, if it's one of the girls, it's got to be her. It's antecedents. One of the girls, is that what it's referring to, you think? One of the girls. All right. How'd you do? All right. Let's go ahead and let's get ready to go to the next lesson and we'll be ready.